G'day guys, uh, Guy Hebblewhite's my name. Uh, we're a chicken meat producer from Somerton in New South Wales, uh, 40 k's west of Tamworth. Um, I just thought I'd give you a very quick video of what's happening uh, with water at the moment. Um, we're about to have uh, the river uh, temporarily weed 70 k's upstream uh, to, to guarantee the town water supply of Tamworth, some 50,000 people. Um, the river, river behind me is, well, it's a river, but it's uh, a bit of a trickle, a bit of a stream trickle, um, as you can see. That's about as good as it gets these days. Uh, Chaffee Dam, where this is fed from, is 21% uh, today, the 18th of September, 2019. Um, so I just thought I'd do a diary of of the demise of this river and what it's going to mean uh, to producers uh, and farmers uh, downstream. Um, by wearing this river, it means that not only is the river cut for high security users, because the groundwater general security, uh, sorry, the general security users out of the river uh, have been cut to zero. The high security users out of the river are at 49%, uh, of which there are very few. Um, and what that'll mean is the, the river feeds into the groundwater system and obviously people have bores and, uh, and wells along the river. What that'll mean is those bores and wells are going to dry up uh, at some point in time after this river is weird. So November 30 is the date this river is going to be weird. Um, five to ten days, possibly longer after that, this river will stop flowing altogether. Then what will happen is the groundwater will cease as well. Uh, cease flowing into the wells and bores that are all the way up this river. What that means is businesses will come to an end. Uh, they'll put off staff. Uh, you've got feedlots along this river. You've got dairies. You've got chicken meat producers. Um, I know I'm going to leave someone out, but I don't mean to. Uh, and, and intensive industries all the way, not to mention beef and sheep producers as well. Pretty catastrophic. Not only are we going to have issues with uh, um, income being generated, but you're also going to have uh, massive issues with fish kills. Um, this this river is prolific with Murray cod um, and carp, but cod mainly, I'd say. So uh, what we're doing as an emergency measure is putting in a dam. A dam will uh, that will be will, will be built starting tomorrow, and we will uh, try and pump out of our groundwater system into that dam to guarantee ourselves 12 months supply of water, which is uh, uh, an emergency measure, but something that we've got to do to keep the doors open to the farm. Uh, our farm produces uh, about two and a half million chickens a year for Steggles. Um, Steggles produces, uh, Steggles supplies Coles, Woolies, all the major supermarkets, quick service restaurants, KFC, the whole, the whole range of, uh, range, a whole range of supermarkets. So, Hopefully we will be able to continue going on, but uh, we've, we've had to take these measures to try and keep the doors open. Obviously putting in dams and uh, infrastructure is not cheap, so um, we'll be bearing that cost. But I just wanted to highlight the issues to our city friends that um, there are some massive issues with water across New South Wales. We're not the only ones, um, but I just want to highlight the fact that uh, as uh, as a country, uh, and, and specifically in this area and others in New South Wales, um, I would just love to see the uh, people sitting down and starting to talk about, you know, water again and dams and uh, the harebrained ideas that were brought up once upon a time to divert rivers, coastal rivers inland, uh, without any issues, obviously, on those coastal towns. You know, to be able to utilise those rivers that are flowing out of the sea uh, just makes a hell of a lot of sense. Um, anyway, let's revisit that sort of stuff because it, this is going to be catastrophic for some time to come. And, uh, yeah, I thought I'd do a diary just over the next couple of weeks just to keep everybody updated as to what's going on. Um, and, uh, yeah, just give you a bit of a feel for what's happening in the bush. Um, I'll keep you updated. Talk soon.